Assessment number 2. Complete the table by transforming the quadratic equation to standard form using any of the steps, methods learned, and find the values of A, B, and C. Our standard form here is A x squared plus B x plus C equals to 0. Example, 2 k x squared plus 2 x or 2 k equals negative 3. So, to transform this into standard form, first we need to distribute 2 inside, multiply it, so it will become 2 times kx squared, it will become 2kx squared, plus 2 times 2k, it will become 4k equals negative 3. And then, move or transpose this negative 3 together with the terms inside on the other side. So, it will become 2 k squared plus 4 k since it is negative 3 by transforming it will now become positive 3 equals 0 so you have now your a which is 2 your b which is 4 and your c equals to 3 Let us now start answering for number 1, 12x squared equals 0. Since there are no other um, terms or constant present or any numbers, here for number 1, it will now be a considered as a standard form. So, 12x squared equals 0. Then, your A will be 12. Then, you don't have any B, so it will become 0. You don't have also your C, it is also 0. That is for number 1. Number 2, 3x squared plus 7 equals x squared plus 1. So, let us simplify this. First, x for number 2 3x squared plus 7 equals x squared plus 1 so combine all like terms so 3x squared with 2 with x squared so combine 3x squared move since this is positive it will now become negative x squared then plus 7 Combine all terms, these combine all numbers, 7 and 1. So 1 move together with 7. Since this is positive 1, it will now become negative 1. Equals 0. Simplify. 3x squared minus x squared is 2x squared. Because it is only 1. 3 minus 1 equals 2, copy x squared. Then, positive 7 minus 7, different sign, positive, negative, different sign. So, therefore, subtract. It's 6. Carry the positive because 7 is greater than 1. So, carry the sign of the bigger number. Equal 0. So, our answer here will be 2x squared plus 6 equals 0. Our A is 2. Our B is 0. We don't have any B. And our C is 6. That is for number 2. 
for number three. Our number three here is two s squared plus six minus s minus five equals zero. So combine all like terms. So you have two s squared, and there are no other s squared. So two s squared alone. Then our we have also numbers. Combine these numbers. So we have plus six minus five. Then we have our s all alone. So minus s equals zero. <clears throat> we cannot subtract two s squared minus s because they are not like terms. But we can simplify these numbers: positive six minus five. So the, since they are different sign, we will subtract. So we will copy two s squared minus s. 6 minus 5, it equals to 1. So, copy the sign of the biggest number. So, it is 6. So, copy the positive equals 0. So, our answer here, our standard form here is 2s squared minus s plus 1 equals 0. So, our a will be 2 our b is our s since it has it is just only an s but it has an imaginary number of one since it is negative negative one next our number one positive one two negative and positive one that is for number three <clears throat> For number 4, 5y squared equals 3y minus 4. Let us write number 4, 5y squared equals 3y minus 4. So, arrange them. 5y squared. So, let us, the, let us um, transpose this 3y together with 5y squared so it will become 3y since it is positive it will now become negative then your negative 4 transpose it to the other side together with the others since it is negative it will now become positive so equals 0 always equal to 0 so this is now our standard form 5y squared minus 3y plus 4 equals 0. Our a is 5, our b is negative 3, and our c is positive 4. That is for number 4. Number 5. 4w squared minus w minus 3 equals 16. So, number 5, 4w squared minus w minus 3 equals 16. Now, combine like terms, 4w squared, and there is no other uh, w squared. So, remain alone. Then, our W, only alone. Then, our negative 3. Combine all numbers. So, our 16. Transpose together with negative 3. Since this is positive, it will now become negative 16 equals 0. Then, simplify. 4W squared minus W cannot be subtracted because they are not like terms. So, remain 4w squared minus w. Negative 3 and negative 16 are same sign. So, same sign, 
plus same negative, so we will add 3 plus 16, 9. Copy the sign, negative, equal 0. So this is now our standard form. 4, W squared, minus W, minus 19, equal 0. Our A is 4, our B is negative W, but there is an imaginary number of 1, since it is negative, negative 1. Then, our C will be negative 19. That is for number 5. Our number 6 is 16, kx squared minus 4k equals 8k squared. So, number 6, 16kx squared minus 4k equals 8k squared. So, combine all like terms, 16kx squared, it is also our 8k a squared, 8k squared, so combine, so transpose the other side together with 16k squared since it is positive it will now become negative 8k squared minus 4k there are no other numbers on this side so it will become 0 let us now simplify 16kx squared minus 8k 8k squared are same terms so subtract 16 minus 8 is equals to 8. Copy kx squared minus 4k, only 4k alone, equals to 0. So this is our standard form. So let us write here. 8k squared minus 4k equals 0. Our a is 8. Our b is negative 4 and we don't have any c constant so 0 that is for number 6 for number 7 <clears throat> 2n plus 5n squared minus 9 equals 9 9n so let us solve 7 <clears throat> 2n plus 5n squared minus 9 equals 9n. So it will become combined all like terms. So 2n, its partner is 9n. So combine it will become 2n transpose. So it will become since it is positive 9, n, it will now become negative 9, n, minus 9. There, are, there is no more number. There are no numbers already. So, equals to 0. Then, our 5n squared, do not forget that 5n squared bring down plus, plus, plus 2n. So, let us now simplify. 5n squared since there are no like terms, so remain 5n squared. Since 2n and 9n are like terms, so we can um, apply the operation. So, since positive 2n and negative 9n are different signs, so subtract. 9 minus 2, 7. Copy the sign of the biggest number, negative. Copy the n. 9. Since there are no other numbers, remain 9 equals 0. So, this is our standard form. Let us copy. <clears throat> Let us copy. Five n squared minus 7 n minus 9 equals 0. Our a is 5. 
our 7 is negative, our B is negative 7, and our C is negative 9. That is for number 7. Number 8. It's R squared or negative R squared plus 8 equals 0. So, since there are no other terms that can be um, transposed, so it is now automatically becomes our standard form. So, negative R squared plus 8 equals 0. Our A is R squared since there is no number but there is an imaginary number of 1. So, 1, negative 1. Then, we don't have our B. So, 0. Our C is 8. That is for number 8. For number 9, it's 6 plus 10 T squared equals 60. So let us solve. Number 9. 6 plus 10 T squared equals 60. So now, it will become, um, let us arrange. First, our squared, 10 T squared. Then, our T, 60, transpose together with the other. So, since it is positive, it will now become negative. Negative 6 T. Then, don't forget our 6. Positive 6 equals 0. So this is now our um, standard form. Let us write. So our standard form here is 10 t squared minus 6 t plus 6 equals 0. So, our A is 10. Our B is 6. Negative 6. And our C is 6. Positive 6. That is for our number 9. Let us go now to the last number. Z squared equals Z. So, there are no others, but since it is not yet equal to 0, like here, uh, unlike here in number 8, it is already equal, the given is already equal to 0. So, there is no need for us to arrange it. It is automatically equal to 0 because the standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, always equal to 0 always equal to 0. So, for our number 8, it's already equal to 0. But for our number 10, it is not yet equal to 0. So, we need to solve. We need to arrange. So, for number 10, z squared equals z. So, z squared, then transpose z together with z. Together with z squared, since it is positive, it will now become negative z. Then, we don't have any constant for c. So, automatically equal to 0. So, this is already our standard form. So, let us write z squared minus z equals 0. So, our a is 1, positive. There, there is no number, but it has an imaginary number of 1. So, 1, positive. And our B, it's Z. Still, there is no number, but in an imaginary number of 1, and it is negative. And we don't have any C, so 0. That is for number 10. This is the process on how to um, transform quadratic equation to standard form using the steps learned and finding the values of a, B, and
情。